Welcome back to Good Day, and it is a good day when we can help local kids have some fun over the summer. Absolutely. Andrea Young joins us from Boyk Law this morning. The Bikes for Kids has come to an end for another season with lots of great stories mm -hmm. to share. So just a few weeks ago, you all were able to give away the last bike. So how many bikes yes. were you all able to give away this year? We're all done now, but we gave away 11 bikes. Awesome. So we typically do 10. We had a set of twins, so we didn't want to leave anyone out, so we gave away 11. That's yeah. wonderful. So obviously these are, you've been doing this for a number of years, I think since mm -hmm. 2009, right? 2009. Yeah, so every summer you give away these bikes to kids who are nominated. Absolutely. Um, they're nominated by parents, grandparents, educators. This year I want to say six of the kids were nominated by their educators, oh. um, teachers, principals, but... It's just amazing the stories that we hear, and it's really hard to pick only 10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, these kids are, are doing really great things. And then uh, you work with Wurzels, right, to get them the bikes? Wurzels is fantastic. So part of this program is to promote safety, and a big aspect of that is getting a properly fitted bike. Um, I don't know if you guys did this when you were young. I would jump on someone no, else's yeah, bike, and yeah, it was exactly. too big, yeah, and <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. Yeah, right. yeah. So Wurzels does a great job at fitting them. They give them a helmet, a lock. Um, we just couldn't be more happy getting, you know, programming through Wurzels. That's awesome. So tell us about some of these stories. How uh, do these stories from these young people, they impact you? They're heartwarming, they're heart-wrenching. Um, one of the moms described her child as spicy, sassy, <laughs> and hilarious. Love and I'm disappointed I didn't get to meet her because I need that in my life. She would have been something, um, yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's various reasons. It can be they overcame a difficult situation, um, they had medical issues, some are nominated just for being fantastic, giving, kind. One young lady um, gave away her bike, and so her mom nominated her to get a new one. But there's various stories, and they all stand out. Wow, so uh, uh, you've been doing this for so long, and as you said, it's a way to promote bike safety, but yeah, you wouldn't necessarily think, hey, a law firm is gonna give away bikes. <laughs> no, you don't, but um, we see tragedy every day. We do personal injury, and so prevention is key. If we can prevent accidents from happening, we want to do that. So part of this is education. So when the kids come through with the bike or getting the bike, we want to educate them on how to ride it properly. So Yeah, so safety is a big uh, feature of this. Absolutely. Uh, and so you see the kids wearing the helmets being properly fitted for the bicycle as well is so important. Uh, and what do you think this is doing? Uh, 11 kids were impacted this year. Again, this has been going on since 2009, so dozens of bikes yeah. have been given mm -hmm. out. Uh, so what do you think this does for uh, the kids? Just help them with their summer I hope it gives them confidence I hope it you know encourages them to go out and to make a difference you know a lot of these kids are nominated because they already are but mm -hmm. just letting them know they're special and they're cared about and continuing to go out there and do great things yeah, keep it up you yes. know you, you got this bike but don't stop here you know <laughs> absolutely. Uh, keep keep doing great things and you know how can people if, if there's a parent out there who is like, I want to make sure that my kid is safe, do you have tools or, you know, some resources for sure. parents to get a hold of? They're always welcome to call our office. Our attorneys are great. We'll stop what we're doing if we can and speak <laughs> to them. Um, we have bikes, so you're welcome to come into the office. We have literature that they can pick up from the front desk. So there's lots of resources. Um, and our website has mm -hmm. some blogs and whatnot. So, yeah, check it out. Good. And what's the plan for next year? Same thing. Same we're going to keep it going. Going after it. Absolutely. Cycling along. Yes. Yeah. We love what we're doing. Um, this year we added Brights. They're a company, Toledo-based, that is LED lights, so the kids could add that to their bikes. Um, so I don't know if we'll add something else next year, but the more that we can add and, you know, make it fun, hopefully we will. And working with local companies and businesses on that, those brights are really cool. It mm -hmm. adds that safety element mm -hmm. in the evening if the kids are you know, want to take the bikes out for a night ride or something sure. like that. Yep. Adds that. And then Wurzel's local local bike shop as well, giving these bikes away and yes. then taking the time to fit the kids. So it's really great that you're working with other local businesses Absolutely. in the area to yeah. get the kids these bikes. Yeah. If we can give back, we want to. So whether it's to the kids, to the community, to the businesses, we want to work with it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. So giving back and promoting safety all at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations on yes. uh, giving out 11. Yeah. Boxes here. We like that number a lot. We like 11. <laughs> That's why we did us. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. You know, no, but it was cool to see the twins uh, on on the bikes. You, you have to you have to include them both. It just yeah. it's just fair. So we'll look forward to next year. Absolutely. All right, Andrew, we'll be back. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.